Hello, my name is Mira Adhikari. I would like to give you a brief overview of my topic, Knowledge and Practice of Dry Powder Inhalation among patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in a regional hospital in Nepal. COPD is the fourth leading cause of death worldwide and 90% of these deaths occur in low and middle income countries. COPD results in frequent exacerbations and hospitalizations and imposes a huge burden in the social and healthcare system of the globe. Treatment of COPD includes bronchodilators and corticosteroids that are generally administered through inhaler devices like dry powder inhalers, meter dose inhalers and mist inhalers. Other categories of drugs that are used for the treatment of COPD includes phosphodiesterase for inhibitors, theophylline and antibiotics. One of the common causes of frequent exacerbation among COPD patients is the poor technique of inhalation through the inhaler device which results in inadequate delivery of drug to the targeted site. Healthcare professionals have a very great role in equipping the patient with knowledge and skills about inhaling the drug effectively through the inhaler devices. This study was conducted among 204 COPD patients who attended Western Regional Hospital and who were using Drotahaler as their dry powder inhaler device. Purposive sampling technique was used and those patients were consecutively selected for the study. Knowledge on dry powder inhalation was assessed by using a questionnaire that was devised by the researcher herself. Well, the practice of dry powder inhalation was examined through the use of Dodge Asthma Foundation Rota Heller checklist. Results of the study showed that a low proportion of respondents had knowledge on various aspects of dry powder inhalation. Well, only 3.9% of the respondent correctly practiced the inhalation technique through the rota heller. However, 77.5% of the respondents performed the critical steps correctly. Although 99% of the respondents were given verbal instruction on how to use the rota heller, only 13.2% of them were practically shown on how to use the inhaler device and less than 1% of the respondents were asked to re-demonstrate the use of rotaheller. Poor practice of rotaheller use was associated with older age, rural residents and illiteracy and the other healthcare related factor was lack of demonstration from healthcare providers on the use of rotaheller. It is therefore necessary on the part of healthcare professionals to teach inhalation technique along with demonstration and ask the patients to re-demonstrate on use of inhaler devices in order to find out whether the patients use the device correctly and if they use it incorrectly, it is the responsibility of healthcare providers to correct them with frequent demonstrations and re-demonstrations. It is recommended that the inhalation technique of COPD patients be checked in every follow-up visits.